Greetings City of Sacramento. We are the resistance. It has come to our attention that you continue to deny the homeless of your city their basic human rights, as well as rights guaranteed by Amendment 8 of the United States Constitution, as stated by the Justice Department in its filing and found on justice.gov. It should be uncontroversial that punishing conduct that is a universal and unavoidable consequence of being human violates the Eighth Amendment. Sleeping is a life-sustaining activity, i.e., it must occur at some time and some place. If a person literally has nowhere else to go, then enforcement of the anti-camping ordinance against that person criminalizes her for being homeless. Many homeless individuals are unable to secure shelter space because city shelters are over capacity or inaccessible to people with disabilities, said Principal Deputy Assistant Attorney General Vani Gupta, head of the Civil Rights Division. Criminally prosecuting those individuals for something as innocent as sleeping, when they have no safe, legal place to go, violates their constitutional rights. Moreover, enforcing these ordinances is poor public policy. Needlessly pushing homeless individuals into the criminal justice system does nothing to break the cycle of poverty or prevent homelessness in the future. Instead, it imposes further burdens on scarce judicial and correctional resources, and it can have long-lasting and devastating effects on individuals' lives. No one wants people to sleep on sidewalks or in parks, particularly not our veterans, or young people, or people with mental illness said Director Lisa Foster of the Office for Access to Justice but the answer is not to criminalize homelessness. Instead, we need to work with our local government partners to provide the services people need, including legal services, to obtain permanent and stable housing. Your actions on the night of January 2nd, including the arrest of seven activists is unacceptable. The confiscation of tents and bedding further puts your homeless in harm's way. Therefore, we ask politely that an immediate moratorium on enforcement of the Do Not Rest statute be imposed while interested parties negotiate a solution. During this 60-day period a good faith effort will be made to accommodate the homeless in your city. We applaud the efforts you have made to provide for some of your homeless population. There is more work to be done. Should you decide our request is untenable or refuse to honor it, we will bring the formidable talent of Anonymous to your city. We would prefer to work on solutions. You have our attention, and therefore the attention of the world. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. United as one, divided by zero. Expect us. Operation Right to Rest. Engaged.